So guys, I have finally come to my conclusion regarding the Bose Stone 700. I have used this for over a week as my primary Bluetooth speaker. I've used this thoroughly as my daily driver of Bluetooth speaker and I've come to my conclusion. I've reviewed this and all I have to say is that this is the best speaker you can buy for 2500 rupees that suits a variety of purposes and also offers you a ton of features that many Bluetooth speakers do not. Now I have compared this with the Bose Stone 600, the Juarez Jab 888, the Soundbot SB571 and uh, well all of those come second or third or fourth accordingly compared to the Bose Stone 700. This is the all-rounder that performs the best amongst them all. Firstly, the build. Rock solid build. No, nothing to worry about, you know, with splashes of water or anything. Feels much more solid than the Bose Stone 600. It's got some weight to it, but it's not too heavy that it's going to hurt your hand if you carry it for long. When you play music, it doesn't vibrate that much that it actually moves about. So you can keep it in one place and be assured that it's going to stay where you've kept it. The best thing about this is its connectivity is blazing fast and the sound is what is impresses me the most because of all the Bluetooth speakers I've tested, this has the most body, its highs, its mids and the bass. Everything is perfectly balanced. No distortion at full volume. The highs do not hurt your ears. They are not harsh. The mids are not over pronounced. So it doesn't sound artificial. The mid, the highs and the lows are so perfectly balanced. And, you know, listening to this, comparing them, to, you know, simultaneously with the other Bluetooth speakers that I have, I always, even if I was blindfolded, I always chose the sound of the Bose Stone 700 over the rest. This is loud, really loud. Even though it's a 10 watt speaker, it is really loud. It's got ample bass and the overall sound is so natural yet rich. So great sound, great build quality. And for the price of 2,500, this is bang for the buck because it also offers you shock proof, water resistance and dust resistance. So it's the all-in-one package, one of the best speakers you can get right now in the market. I would definitely, definitely recommend that you get this speaker. If your budget is 2,500, look no further, get this speaker. Many have asked me to compare the Bose Stone 600 to the uh, Soundbot uh, SB571. I have done that and I will show you a different review of these two speakers side by side, but let me just tell you beforehand that this is the speaker I would choose. Now taste is something that differs from person to person. So some might prefer more bass over the highs and lows. Some might prefer loudness over bass. That's subjective, but overall, this is my favorite speaker. This is what I would turn to every single time I play my music. Across all the types of music I played, whether it's classical, rock, dubstep, jazz, hip hop, this sounded the best. So guys, the Bose Stone 700 gets my seal of buy with confidence. Absolutely. You can buy this from Amazon. All the links are in the description below. Use them. Buy the speaker if that's your budget. And you can be rest assured that for years to come, if you treat this well, not that it cannot withstand rough use, you can use it roughly, no problem with that. But if you treat it well, charge it only when it's necessary, this will serve you for a long time without any problem. Before we go, let me just give you a sound sample. And like I said, guys, if you've not seen my unboxing video, I'll leave a card here, you can see it. This fires sound from two sides. So the side which has the boat written, the main drivers inside fire from this side. So you get your highs and mids from this side and it produces some bass from this side. So sound comes from both the sides. The speaker is most safe, sta like the speaker is most stable when you keep it like this. You can also keep it like this vertically standing, but it tends to move a little bit when the bass is really loud. Otherwise, keep it like this and the speaker stays where it is. So you will switch it on. Power on. 
You plugged into Nirvana. Now, one of the only things that I do not like about this You're now speaker, connected to Boatstone 700. Yeah. That's what I don't like about this speaker. It speaks too much. I mean, I know it's helpful for it to let me know when it's on, when it's connected, but just a beep would do. It talks too much when you switch it on, when you connect it, when you disconnect it, when it's powering off. It does too much talking. So that's the only thing. Otherwise, I love the buttons, like really clicky and tactile buttons here. It beeps to let you know it's at full volume. Below it's a replica of that, but no buttons there, just solid silicon padding. So absorbs a lot of shock. These are plastic, but very sturdy. You have a buckle here and they give you a buckle with this so you can keep it hanging from somewhere. And you have your, you know, waterproof or water well, protected from water so the usb port and your aux port here yeah so anyway we are connected so very quickly let me just play some music for you i'm going to play one of my favorite tracks it's going to be uh let me see this one. It's at full volume. You can keep it like this too, but I prefer this. because the whole thing vibrates and the bass also comes out from this side it will tend to move but if you keep it like this this was also great no problem at all you can speak directly to this area even if you are like two or three feet away and it's absolutely fine so anyway guys if you want this speaker link is in the description below do get it and you will not be disappointed I guarantee you it's loud and it's got a beautiful beautiful sound as always if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to PRCast9 today and I will catch you guys in the next one cheers Thank you.